Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or good night, if you've seen the Truman Show. Welcome to this video showing off uh, this newest Super King. I mean, it's not new, maybe not new to you, but it's just come in the post recent for me, and I'm trying to catch up with all this stuff. This is the most recent Valkyrie, and I'm just, I've been trying to remember what the pieces are, but I'm going to flip over now, remember, I believe it's Brave, so it's Brave Valkyrie to attack uh ha ah, something something evolution with an apostrophe yep you heard me right i said apostrophe uh i know a lot of people call it dash just to be clear that is not a dash that is an apostrophe a dash is a generic term for what we call a hyphen um yep it is a hill i'm gonna die on anyway let's take a look at each individual piece and then put it all together and then give it some games. Alright, so our first piece of course is the uh, Valkyrie chip. I'm going to just make sure the camera is focused in. There were no stickers to put on this chip, which I thought was quite interesting. It's just as it is. And uh, yeah, some decent colours on there, there's a bit of transparency coming through. I do like the actual the red on the chip on the base, not that you ever really see that. And of course, it attaches to our Brave. Now I'm going to make sure I put this on the right way so I don't trigger everyone. I believe that is supposed to be the way that it is. His face, his, we call that Valkyrie's chin. Um, yeah, it's got the same protrusions as you would expect from any Valkyrie. Nice little use of yellow here. And the stickers are quite interesting. I did manage to rip. I don't think it come, it's showing up very well, but I did actually rip sort of at least one, or if not two of the stickers. Little ones in the bottom. And then other ones around the side. Uh, I like the use of the yellow. I don't think we've had a Valkyrie with... Oh, well, they, they do all have yellow, but not like this. This is a bit different. Now, let's go for... This is a nice fused uh, chassis with the forge disc. This is two attack, of course. The thing that's really, really cool about two attack, these wings are rubber, which is really going to help with absorption and for bashing away. Could be a bit of a factor for depletion of um, stamina. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Depends. Uh, and, and this particular chassis is going to allow for two different modes for being connected to Brave. So we're going to look at that in just a momo. And this, of course, is the bottom. Uh, something dash. Something hyphen. Uh, apostrophe. Evolution. Evolution apostrophe. Now, I'm most excited to finally get a driver like this. I was really upset actually when I got the GT Valkyrie and it had this bottom. Uh, yeah, I don't really think much of this. Um, this I've been waiting for one with this rubber base for a while and this of course is one that you need to, we don't have to, but it's you're supposed to you know, wear down and then it awakens as it were. I mean, essentially we wear down these um, these little knobbly bits it becomes a bit flatter and it makes the Beyblade a lot more aggressive around the arena, a lot more effective in theory. So yeah, that's the Beyblade. Oh, we're going to put it together. I'm going to show you the two different uh, ways of putting it together. Um, when we line up the chassis in the top, if we line it up this way, you can see that the red is in between the wings. And then obviously if you line it up the other way, never guess what, they are in line. So this is going to obviously affect the way that the Beyblade handles around the arena, about how it handles opponents. Um, yeah, uh, this is a dash is a uh, apostrophe base, which means that the spring is a bit stronger, and that is really giving it quite a tight. I mean, it's very tight. Actually. Oh, ah, it is super tight in there. So the chance of this thing being burst is. Fairly low, I would say, compared to a lot of other Beyblades, especially something like Jet Wyvern. Um, yeah, that's our new Brave Br Blave, Brave Valkyrie. Um, let's play it in some matches now. All right, we've got a selection of bays from Current and GT to uh, give it a go with. Now, other thing to note is that I finally got a launch. Oh, is that in the oh, it is in the a launcher grip? But you might notice here. I'm going with the ripcord, and the reason for that is, I think I just prefer it 
and also I just can't be bothered with every video worrying about whether or not the sparking launch is going to break so we're just going to go with these rip cord launchers. I do have two as well so it's nice and easy to set them up and actually let it rip as opposed to let it sort of uncoil. Right, let's load up on Valkyrie. Oh, let's give him a little test ride first, see how he goes on his own. See how aggressive he is. Obviously not as aggressive as he would be later on. Just got to wear down the base a bit. As you would expect from a Valkyrie, he's not going to have the um, best endurance in the world. Pretty, pretty low. Starting to slow down. Yeah, down he's going. Alright, we're going to test him first, I think, against the uh, predecessor, which would be the previous Valkyrie. This is winning Valkyrie from GT. So we're going to test it against that. Yeah, a bit more weight to it, so should smash it around quite convincingly. Let's do it against the previous Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, a lot more aggressive. Bit of contact, bit of contact. Rubber's going to. Oh, yeah, no, this is not much of a battle, is it? This is not any good anymore. Let's get him out of the way. Let's actually test it against a real sparking. Oh, Jack Wyvern. Exciting. Oh, he's straight out. Look at that. Okay. Oh, straight on top of him. Yeah, not much of a battle there either. All right, let's test it against. Uh, this is a. Build I've been messed around with this is a super outside with a wheel and this is the base from Hyperion Burn. It's just pretty aggressive. Okay. Oh he's straight out. Oh we took him out that time. Time with this one. Can't quite take him out. Ooh! Nice return fire. Oh wow, he's still just about one. Pretty mad. Okay, I'm going to change the bottom bit around. Yeah, let's put this weird mix in, shall we? It's got the, uh, Kind of wrong base on it, but it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Oh, he's off balance. Come on, Valkyrie, can you hold? Life after death. No chance. Took him out. All right, one last time. Oh, unlucky. Look at that. Well, I think that's probably it. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? I quite like this new uh, Valkyrie. Actually, it's pretty cool. Play around with the uh, modes. Got plenty more. Bay videos coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone. Peace. Yeah, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy this video, everyone. Just a quick peek. Uh, I've got loads more coming up soon, and if you're not sure what I mean by loads, let me just give you an idea about what I mean by loads more.
coming very soon. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so I need to unbox. I probably won't bother literally like doing a full unboxed video of each. I'll do what I've done with these where I've opened it and I'll just show it and be like, right, let's get them going on because unboxing has been done. If you want to watch someone unbox, it's already out there. So let's just skip that. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone. I will see you again for opening all this lot.